a brand new video what's happening well you probably already guessed from the title and the thumbnail what we're going to be looking at today which is princess diana's black ford escort series one rs turbo but before we ever go before we get into that if you're watching this video the day it's gone live which is sunday the 14th of august 2022 i am currently at ford fair at silverson the car is on the Oval Owners Club stand in the centre of the circuit. I'll put a map on screen so you can see where it is. If you're at Ford Fair and you see me, mate, give me a shout. If not, head over to my Instagram now. It's at FTLockUK. There'll be a link on the screen and a link in the description. If you've got Ford Fair Blues and you're watching this video to get your Ford kick for the Sunday, because you can't make it to Ford Fair, then make sure you head on to my Instagram. There'll be plenty of pictures and videos on my story, and I'll be heading off to Caffeine and Machine directly after Ford Fair. For now, let's get on with today's video and let's talk about that infamous unicorn of Lady Diana's RS Turbo. So then ladies and gents, why are we doing this video? Well, about a month or so ago, maybe a bit longer, I was talking to a friend of mine on Instagram, he's called RS Baz, he's got a fucking beautiful Ultimate Green Mark II Focus RS. Um, and we're having a bit of a chat, and he said, like, do you remember, and he said, do you remember Princess Diana's RS Turbo? I was like, yeah, wow, can you imagine if you trapped that car down and you knew where that was today? And he said, well, why don't you do a video on it and see if you can find out where it is? So. For the last month or so, I've been doing a little bit of research into this car and trying to get as much information together so I can give you an, an accurate description of its history. And I was gonna ask, do you know where this RS Turbo is? But in the last week or so, this car has been all over social media. It's been all over my Instagram feed and that is because the car's up for sale. That's right, it's gonna be at Silverstone Auction this year at Silverstone Classic. So obviously the car was never missing, it's been in a private collection, but I still think it'd be pretty cool to talk about the history of the car because it's such so relevant and, and it's such a hot topic at the moment in the Ford scene. And like I said, it is Ford Fair 2022, the day this video is going live. Now, like I said, I did a, lot, a little bit of research for this video to get as much information as I can. And well, I was always under the impression that the only black Series 1 RS Turbo to ever exist was owned by Princess Diana. So, well, let's talk about the history of the car. Now, like I said, I've done a lot of research for this, so I'm going to be looking at my iPad, my phone, and things like that. But I've also bought this because while I was trending through forums and stuff trying to get some information, I was actually, I actually read that fast forward from July 2009, that's right, this magazine is the same age as my car, so my car is a 59 plate Mark II Ford Focus, released in September of 2009, this is July 2009, so my car and this magazine are the same age. And it's a pretty cool magazine, to be honest, it is the 25th anniversary of the Series 1 RS Turbo, that's that's the, the subject of the magazine if you can see that at the top as well mark 2 focus rs driven 2009 was the year that the mark 2 focus released and well kind of like a mark 2 focus on this channel if you haven't already guessed sat in front of mine but in here in this magazine it talks about this so this is what was known as back then the bonkers collection and he had he had so many amazing cars in this collection i believe he was called mark bailey um, and one of the cars that he had was 
Princess Diana's RS Turbo and there's an article, in the, a two page is it article of this said car in this exact magazine. So I, to do this video and I heard about this, I had to buy the magazine so I could read this article and kind of, well, see what, see what information we could find out about this car. The bon but before we go into that, the Bonkers collection, for those that don't know, was an, was a, well, it was an unbelievable Ford RS collection and XI. Yeah, well, it was just a Ford collection, it weren't just RSs by Mark Bailey. And like I said, one of the cars that he did have in his collection was the 1984 Ford Escort Series 1 RS Turbo owned by none other than Princess Diana. So what we're gonna do then, was Lady Diana's the only Series 1 RS Turbo painted in black by Ford? Well, from the information, now on the surface it looks like the answer to this question is yes, but it appears that it's not. It appears from the information that I can find that there were two others, there were two other black Series 1 RS Turbos. Now, people, say that Princess Diana's was painted in the factory black by Ford and the other two were paint, were taken brand new as white Series 1 RS turbos to a body shop, painted black and then registered. So they weren't painted by Ford, if, if that kind of makes sense. But for, the, for argument's sake, we're gonna say that there were three black RS turbos. But Princess Diana is the most famous one. So, I'm going to refer to the iPad and we're going to talk about how this came about. Our Princess Diana's, one of the rarest Fords ever made. Well, Princess Diana was a princess of the people. She was very down to earth and unlike her royalty counterpart, she didn't really, didn't really get chauffeured around or drive around in Rolls Royces or Jaguars. Land Rovers, Range Rovers or whatever, she, she didn't do that. She drove her own cars and she had a Ford Escort 1.6 gear Cabriolet in red. If you can find a picture, there'll be a picture of it on the screen now. And this was her kind of day-to-day -day car. She then had Prince William and there is pictures of Prince William in the back of this series on RS Turbo and I'll put them on the, uh, on the screen now. And Princess Diana wanted to live a normal life as possible. So she wanted she wanted a Ford Escort, and at the time, Ford Escorts were the family car of the people. But due to her, her, her high profile, the average Ford Escort, in case she needed to make a quick escape or a quick getaway, she needed something that packed a little bit of a punch. So the, the, the Series 1 RS Turbo was deemed suitable by SO14. Now SO14 are, they're like your MI5 of the world of, for the Royal Family. They're the Royal Family's personal security team. So the, the Series 1 RS Turbo is deemed suitable. So they got in touch with Ford, want a Series 1 RS Turbo, but we want one that blends into the background. We don't want one that stands out, we just want it blends into the background. So. The executor of the time at Ford said, I'll tell you what, we'll do your series on RS2, but we'll paint it black. We'll remove the three slack grill and we'll put a five slack grill. Well, that's similar to what's on the RS1600i or what's on the XR3i. Um, and it'll just kind of blend in. It'll look like every other black Ford Escort on the road. But in turn, what he actually did was make the most high profile Ford Escort that, that's ever known. You could get your Escort RS Cosworth, your, RS, your Mark II RS2000s. This is a one of one black series one from Ford RS Turbo. So what he wanted to make a low profile car, he made it the highest profile Ford Escort on the planet. So as we go on then, so the, obviously the car didn't stay in Princess Diana's possession forever. It was on a long term loan from Ford, as you'd imagine. She never kept the, she never kept the car forever. I'm not sure when she got rid of the car, but the car's history file, so the car's history file has been meticulously archived and a copy of the internal memos from the Ford Motor Company confirmed the replating and the, new, and the of the registration number, as it is common on X-Royal cars. When it was returned to Ford in May 1988, so she kept the car for four years, further documentation from the DVLA shows a successful re-registering of the car back to C462FHK. 
okay in later years. So, so from there then, following the car's return to Ford Motor Company in May 1988 with some 6,800 miles on, it was sold initially internally to Jeff King, the manager of the company's government sales department, and it, for his wife to use it. And the car was ready to use as a part of a promotional giveaway by KISS FM in September 1993. So this car was 12 years old and it ended up in the hands of KISS FM who gave it away. He gave it away and it was won by a Miss Jones of Essex and the, and the mileage of the car even 12,000 miles. Can you imagine? Can you imagine winning Princess Diana's black Series 1 RS Turbo in a giveaway. Know this Miss Jones of Essex, who she is. I don't know if she even knew what she'd won. I'm not being rude, but probably not. She probably didn't know what it was. And then in 2008, the car caught the eye of a custodian of one of the best Ford RS collections in the country who purchased it from the appropriately named Mr. Windsor, who had owned the car since the 1st of November, 1994. So it looked like Kiss FM gave it away in September, 1993. To Miss Jones of Essex, and then this Mr. Windsor bought the car on the 1st of November 1994, so just over a little a year later. And today, the car's mileage is showing 24,961. It's naturally matched by its exceptional condition and detailed history file. So, the car's got around 25,000 miles on it. The, the RS custodian, I'm presuming, is that Mark Bailey who had the bonkers collection. I'm presuming that's kind of who that custodian is. The big question is really, isn't it? Now I've looked and looked and looked and looked and I can't really find a Series 1 RS Turbo that's got the same mileage, just like, you know, a, a white one that's in standard condition and what kind of money that it will go for. So the estimated value of this black Series 1 RS Turbo for Princess Diana, well, it's, it's probably more than likely in excess of £100,000. It's probably more than likely close to a quarter of a million, if not more, for this car. I'm certainly going to be watching this auction live if I can to see what it goes for, so make sure you do as well. Make sure you tune in if you're intrigued. If you know any other information about said car, about Princess Diana's Iris Turbo, then let me know. Like I said, head over to my Instagram, link in the description, speak to me about it, it's something that really interests me. Um, for now, I will be at Ford Fair, as I said, enjoying the sunshine, hopefully, at Silverstone, and the weather, and the cars, and the track, and just all things Ford, and then I'll be off to Caffeine and Machine to spend the night, so make sure you head over to Instagram and check that out, as I've already said. But for now, I'll leave you with these pictures of Princess Diana's Series 1 RS Turbo. Thank you very much for watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button, just done a 600 subscriber special on our road to 1,000 subscribers. Make sure you like, comment down below about any extra information that you think I've missed out in this video, any extra information that you have about Princess Diana's extraordinary tasting cars. Uh, and I will see you on the next one, which is likely to be Ford Fair 2022. See you later.